Hey, everybody. I just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about Scentsy because I have not been recording or, you know, coming on my Instagram or Facebook stories in a long time or haven't even recorded any videos about new products. And we have a lot of new stuff coming out for the fall and winter catalog. And I just got my kit in today that includes 10 of the, or the 10 bars, the new releases for the fall winter catalog. So 10 new scents um, that will be in various forms. Um, these are all wax bars, but they'll have some scent circles, car bars, room sprays, you know, the, the whole deal. Um, so I just wanted to kind of do a live scent test. I have not smelled them yet. I'm just taking them out of the box. Um, just wanted to just come on here and do a little update. I'm 32 weeks pregnant with our baby boy right now. So I am, I've just been so busy with other things, working, you know, my regular job. And by the end of the day, I am so tired. <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking with me and continuing to look at my page and uh, support, you know, my business and, um, you know, I love Scentsy. I still buy it all the time. <laughs> I just haven't really been able to come on and talk too much about it um, or just I haven't made the time lately. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to just go through these bars and give you a description of what they are and we'll see if I like them and maybe you will. <laughs> um, but, you know, I can always make samples. If any of you are interested, I also have some scented stickers on the way, so I will be able to create some nice little um, handouts so you can do a scratch and sniff. So um, if you're local, I can get those to you, and if you are not local, I can certainly mail them to you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first one is Blue Sage and Tonka. The description of this one is revel in the richness of midnight sage and black lavender over the sultry sweetness of tonka bean. Hmm. Okay, that's really spicy smelling. Wood, really woodsy. Woodsy and spicy is what I would describe that as. It's, it's really nice, though. It's not overpowering. I'm not getting a headache and you know my pregnancy nose is like a hound dog right now. Um, so it's surprisingly not you know it's it's definitely like a men's type scent but I like I mean I like it so no complaints here on that one. Okay next we have cashmere and corduroy. The description is wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla Sicilian bergamo, bergamot and cashmere sandalwood. Hmm, that smells nice. Kind of reminds me of cozy cardigan from last year, but a little bit more spicier. I know I keep saying spicy, but that's just how I, or woodsy, that's <laughs> just how I can describe it. But that's a good one too. It definitely reminds me of fall. So if you guys liked Cozy Cardigan last year, you probably will like this one. Okay, Cinnamon Buttercream is next. Italian Buttercream and Creamy Mascarpone, ma mascarpone scooped over cinnamon cake, combined sugar, spice, and everything nice. Whoa, buddy. If you liked almond croissant last year, this is definitely up your alley. I like it because I like a lot of the sweet scents. Um, I know my husband, Dale, I know Dale won't like it because he can't stand any of the sweet smells. <laughs> and any of you guys that don't like smelling desserts in your house because it makes you crave them all the time, you won't like this either but it smells really good and sweet. Cinnamon buttercream. Now my stomach's rumbling. Um, next is eucalyptus wreath. Fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint. 
Ooh. Oh man, that smells really clean. It smells like stress-free from Bath and Body Works, if you have ever smelled that. Very eucalyptus heavy. And you, you can definitely smell the mint. It smells really clean and relaxing. So if you like stress-free at Bath and Body Works, you'll like this one. Pretty good. Graham cracker crunch is next. Caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. Hmm. Whoa, that's strong. Now, I don't remember from what I, if, since I've been buying Scentsy, anything with peanut butter in it, like the smell of peanut butter but you can definitely smell it. It's kind of, <clears throat> it's really sweet, but I don't like it as good as the cinnamon buttercream, but it kind of, it smells like a s'more. <laughs> so if you like sweets, this is another good one. Okay, Harvest Blessings. I'm really excited about this one. Um, radiant Apple, Spiced Pumpkin, and Smooth Oak embody everything you love about autumn. Yes, oh my goodness. Yes, I will be buying this immediately. Um, well, I mean, I, you know, I will make some samples of this one if you guys love fall scents. This is like the, oh, I smell the apple in it. I smell all of these smells that I just described. And it just smells beautiful, like a perfect, perfect autumn fall scent. Um, I'm trying to think of one that would be like this from last year, but like autumn, hmm, I can't remember, maybe autumn road trip. That was a good one. And I know some of those are coming back. So, you know, some of the fall scents that we got last year are making a comeback. So don't worry. And if you guys want to ask me about any of them, I'll look it up too. Okay, pomegranate Prosecco is the next one. Delectable roseberry and pomegranate add an effervescent splash to a flute of pink Prosecco. Hmm. That smells pretty good. If you like perfectly pomegranate, you might like this. Um, if you like Prosecco, you'll like this. Um, it smells really, it's sweet smelling, but yeah, it definitely has like that nice, it's not like too sweet with the Prosecco in there. I like it. Okay, so. Scarlet Sunflower is next. I've still got to pull some out of my box. Hold on just a second. Scarlet Sunflower. Juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. Okay. Hmm. That smells pretty nice. Juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry, brightened by a scarlet sunflower. I don't know if it necessarily smells like fall, but I don't know, it's really comforting. It has a really comforting smell to it. And it's not too floral. I can't, I'm not a big floral fan. I mean, I like Luna and that's always under the floral section, even though I don't really necessarily you know, when I smell it, I don't necessarily think of floral, but um, this definitely doesn't have a whole lot of floral in it. It's more of the apple and cranberry, but that smells really good. Okay, so spiced ember glow is next. Smoked apple and toasted vanilla over cinnamon embers offer a warm and inviting escape. That smells really good. Okay. Again, spicy, but not spicy like blue sage and tonka. Different. I actually really like this one because I like amber scents and there's no amber, but it kind of has that 
hint of a, like a hint of amber or something but it's more of a woodsy spicy smell but oh it smells like fall or winter it could be either one it's a good one too so far i'm not like really disliking anything so that's good okay tinselberry strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle <laughs> i love these descriptions Hmm, tinselberry. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't really like the strawberry in there, but I mean, it's got a nice fruit. It's, it's kind of fruity and you can smell the cinnamon. They're kind of clashing with each other. I think that's my problem. Um, it's more Christmassy too for sure, but it's not my favorite. It kind of, it definitely reminds me of a Christmas smell, like maybe not as strong as Christmas cottage, but it has that strawberry in there and that's just kind of strange. <laughs> um, so that might be my least one. Well, graham cracker crunch is a little strong, but those two, tinselberry and graham cracker crunch probably are my least favorite out of them. And then I'm going to say Scarlet Sunflower. I love that one. And of course, Harvest Blessings. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. And probably if I had to pick a third one, Cashmere and Corduroy. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Cozy Cardigan. So yeah, I'm really excited. That was 10 cents that are being re newly released um in our new upcoming fall and winter catalog so i hope you enjoyed the video um be sure to check out the clearance section on my website there's new stuff up there and we also will be having a new bring back my bar voting um voting session i guess you could say on june july <laughs> we're in july kim july 26th um, is when it starts and you'll have until July 30th. So if there are, I'll be posting the um, link for that on my VIP page and I will post it on my regular page too, just so everybody can see it. And um, if there are any of your old favorites on there, or if you have any questions about any of them, I'm happy to answer. Be sure to vote and um, they will choose, since he will choose 10 bars from the ones that are voted on the most. So, all right. I appreciate you guys watching and for sticking with me. And I hope you all have a great day and rest of your week. Bye.